Genders of the Railroad, Part 3, Empathy Havoc into Iraq. Amtrak was doing a fine job on its routes with its special coaches that are single-decker and double-decker. Emily was delivering empty freight cars into the yard. She had to be, they had to be loaded with fruit and vegetables for the market. I'm here to pick up fruit today, Emily said. So Topham Hat wanted me to. That's an important job, Emily, Jidwee said. My brake van Jaden is back. Poison 12 is completely destroyed, Becky said. Thomas pulled up. You're just in time, Thomas, Emily said. How's it going? Uh. Thomas will tell you in a minute, said Dwee. I'm fine, chuffed Thomas. Mr. Cakester arrived. Quinn has broken down, he said, so I'd like you to do her work today. Quinn must have had a short circuit after her batteries got wet, puffed Thomas. And she's is very sick with an electric stomach ache. Don't worry, Thomas. She'll be fine, said Mr. Cakester. And Thomas steamed out of the yard, hoping to avoid having a tarfament. Thomas was shunting cars in the yard with Leo, hoping to avoid a tarfament for Quinn, but there was no time. I don't know why Quinn's not here, puffed Thomas crossly. She's not feeling well. Leo told Thomas crossly. Thomas was shocked. I'm not feeling well either, puffed Thomas. I'm sick too. And he biffed the freight cars unexpectedly. Leo was worried. Oh, I'm sorry, Leo said. I hope you're going to be fine. I don't know, puffed Thomas. And he buffered up to the freight cars. And he steamed calmly away. Here we go, laughed the trucks. And Thomas started to take a deep breath as he steamed up Gordon's Hill. Gordon's Hill, here I come, puffed Thomas. And he steamed up with the troublesome trucks and scruffy leading. Then there was trouble. The MBTA commuter train had two engines on both ends, one trailing and one leading. On! 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 laughed the troublesome trucks. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Out of my way! Thomas applied his brakes as hard as he could, but it was too late to stop in time! <laughs> there was a big crunch and Thomas derailed. After the explosion stopped, everything was quiet. Not all the freight cars derailed, but some t 12 cars did. But the P40DC4800 was wedged off the line with its bogey on the sleeper. And Thomas had flipped onto his side, covered in lots of debris. Meanwhile, Dwee was on her way to help Thomas. Then she saw a rail speeder ahead. Her driver threw on the emergency brakes.
Are you all right? Asked Jaden. Of course I am, Jaden, said Dwee as she saved Thomas. And she pushed him all the way to the fitter's yard to be repaired. To be continued. <laughs>